Lusaka, Zambia. This is another one of my favorite cities to visit. And on this trip specifically, I had an unforgettable time. In this video, we're gonna be checking out things to do, such as attractions, their highly underrated nightlife, my accommodations, and more, so that you'll have an idea of things to do in the city in case you decide to visit. So sit back and relax as we explore Lusaka, Zambia. So for those that don't know, Zambia is located in Southern Africa and it borders eight different countries. With the Democratic Republic of Congo and Tanzania to the north, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique to the south, Malawi to the east, and Angola to the west. An interesting fact about the borders of Zambia, Angola, Namibia, and Botswana is that this is the only place on earth where four nations meet. Anyway, Lusaka is the capital city of Zambia and has a huge population of about 3.3 million people. So, the first place I decided to visit during this trip was to the Kewasoko Game Ranch. Here, they have a bunch of different activities you can participate in, but what I enjoyed most was the quad biking. They have a beautiful trail where you can ride four-wheelers, while also getting the chance to check out the beautiful landscape of Lusaka. On this day, the weather was just about perfect, and it was great experience in the ride surrounded by beautiful nature. They also have small safari rides where you can see a variety of animals, like buffalo, giraffes, antelope, and many other animals. If you love picnics, there are perfect spots to sit and enjoy a meal with family or friends. There are even zebra that come right up to you while you're eating. It's always nice getting outdoors and checking out some nature, and Kewasoko Game Ranch was good for doing just that. Now my last visit to Lusaka, I checked out the nightlife, but only for a few hours here and there. But since it was my birthday weekend during this trip, you know I went super hard. So on Friday night, the first place I visited was an event called Lusaka Night Food Market. Here, they have food vendors as well as local and international DJs that keep the party rocking well into the night. As you can see, the place was pretty packed and I for sure had a good time. From here, some friends and I met up and stopped by the lounge Black Bistro. The DJs here were really good. Plus you can grab a beer for only $2 US and a mixed drink for around three. From Black Bistro, we made our way over to the lounge, the Capo. Just like Black Bistro, the Capo had a great DJ and some pretty good cocktails. This is where people usually end the night as they don't close until the wee hours of the morning. I had a great night. Another spot I hit up over the weekend was the Lounge Chicago's. Chicago's is definitely more laid back than the other places I went to and is a great place to meet people. They played a lot of American hip hop and R&B hits, but finished the night with Afrobeats and Emma Piano. I came here alone this night, but ended up hanging out with some awesome people I met over the course of the night. Good times. On Sunday afternoons about 2 p.m., many people throughout the city usually meet up at the bar and lounge Granddaddy's. Here, they usually play many of the big football matches that may be going on, and when there isn't a game, there are DJs playing the latest hits up until around midnight. This is a great place to meet people for some good conversation and laughs while having some good drinks and delicious food. Another place I visited during this trip was Chemanuka Lodge and Reserve. If you saw my last video on Lusaka, this is the same place where you can walk with the elephants and also the cheetahs. But this time around, I went horseback riding, which was really fun. I also went on a relaxing boat cruise on their lake, which is also located on the reserve. Chemanuka has a wide variety of activities to participate in. 
I highly recommend visiting if you're ever in Lusaka. Another cool place to visit if you're into outdoors but don't want to venture too far out of the city is Kalimba Reptile Park. Here, you can see a variety of amazing reptiles like crocodiles, snakes, and tortoises just to name a few. For those that are interested, they have an area where you can learn all about the animals at this park. Although the guy teaching us this day was pretty unfriendly. There are also opportunities to hold some of these reptiles, which makes for an unforgettable experience. Something else that isn't talked about much when it comes to Lusaka is they have plenty of nice restaurants. So of course, while in town, I had to try some new spots. The restaurant that was recommended to me the most during this trip was a Noma Mediterranean restaurant. Here, they serve delicious Mediterranean food like fresh salads, tasty kebabs, and a variety of seafood. The decor here is very beautiful. The atmosphere is cozy and welcoming, and the staff make you feel right at home. Now my favorite lunchtime spot was Mabula Restaurant. Mabula is known for its delicious fusion cuisine. They have a bunch of beautifully crafted dishes, and the restaurant setup and warm lighting creates a perfect setting for any occasion. The last restaurant I'll highlight is the restaurant Char by Marlin. During the day, it's a very chill restaurant that serves a really good steak, and also has a nice bar that serves delicious cocktails. But at night, the restaurant transforms into a lounge and brings in a pretty good DJ. Lusaka is loaded with nice restaurants, so when you're in town, make sure you try out some. On this visit, I wanted to learn a little more about the country, so I decided to make a stop at the Lusaka National Museum. This is a good place to learn about some of the country's history and culture. There are displays of traditional African art, including beautiful sculptures and paintings. You can also explore exhibits about Zambia's history, from ancient times to modern day. One of the highlights is the section on archaeology, where you can find artifacts from early human settlements. The museum is both educational and fun making it a great place for anyone interested in learning about Zambia's fascinating past and present. As far as my accommodations while in Lusaka, I stay at the Hilton Garden Inn, located right in the middle of the city. I'm not gonna go into much about this hotel because I talked about it in my last Zambia video and I've done a full review of this hotel in a completely separate video. But what I will say is that this hotel probably has the best views of the city and all of Lusaka. The hotel also has a really good bar, as well as a nice pool. Lusaka is easily one of my favorite cities to visit in Africa. It's a big city that's surrounded by a lot of nature, has some awesome bars and restaurants, and the people of Lusaka are very friendly and helpful. As far as visa requirements, U.S. passport holders do not need a visa if you're staying less than 90 days. I love Lusaka. It's a city that's also on my list of places to possibly move. I'll for sure be visiting again this year though. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.